welcome everyone. We're glad you can join us today to experience the all new 2022 Hyundai Tucson. The fourth generation Tucson joins a growing lineup of Hyundai SUVs that are purpose built to meet the needs of different customers. And we're delighted with all the media attention and recognition our SUV lineup has earned. We're proud that US News and World Report named Hyundai the best SUV brand for 2021. And our individual models have received high praise as well. Tucson was the recipient of J.D. Power's prestigious Initial Quality Award in 2020. Auto Trader recognized the Santa Fe with its Best New Car Award. And our SUVs were also singled out by Kelly Blue Book, Consumer Guide Automotive, Car and Driver, Cars.com, as well as the Texas Truck Rodeo. Clearly, our entire SUV lineup is on a roll. The industry has taken notice of our efforts and so have customers. Here in the US, the world's most competitive automotive marketplace, Hyundai's sales are up in the first quarter as well as year over year, thanks to a host of great products with exceptional durability, quality, and reliability. With our recent sales success, we're even more excited about our upcoming products. Last November, we announced a blitz of 12 new and significantly enhanced SUVs through 2021, a product cadence like no other in the industry. What's even more remarkable about this onslaught is that it comes alongside our breakthrough introduction of the Elantra, the North American car of the year. The all new Tucson is a key player in our SUV blitz. We've completely redesigned it to build on the success our subcompact SUV has enjoyed over the years. Today, Tucson is Hyundai's top selling sport utility vehicle and one of the best selling vehicles in our entire lineup. We've sold well over a million of them in the United States alone. Customers love their Tucsons. So we began the product development process by carefully listening to the needs of those customers and the prospective buyers we hope to win over. In our research, competitive customers challenged us with four top priorities for the all new Tucson. Safety, advanced technology, design, and fuel efficiency. Specifically, many customers thought that safety features should be standard one competitive customer said, I think you should have the collision avoidance system in all vehicles, not just the upgraded ones. Regarding technology, another competitive customer put it, some of the controls are counterintuitive, too many steps to change some of the settings. We hear that. Competitive customers also thought their SUV needed more interior room. One put it succinctly, not enough space, it could be bigger. Point taken. And these customers expressed their overwhelming desire for more exciting design. One said the vehicle's a little plain looking. We heard these competitive customers loud and clear and made their unmet needs our top priorities in our ground up redesign. We started with safety. Of course, safety has long been a top priority for Hyundai worldwide. Our chairman E.S. Chung has said all of our activities would be meaningless without quality and safety because they are the prerequisites for serving our customers. That especially rings true for customers in the subcompact SUV segment. In our research, we found that 93% of these owners ranked safety as either extremely important or very important in their purchase consideration. So we made six of the most desired safety features standard in the all new Tucson. Forward collision avoidance, lane keeping assist, lane following assist, auto high beam, driver attention warning, and rear occupant alert. And we took safety even further by giving Tucson one of the most robust available suites of safety and driver assist features in the SUV market. Features typically only found on luxury vehicles until now. That strategy is part of Hyundai's comprehensive plan to democratize advanced technology and give subcompact SUV buyers the relevant features they need to simplify and improve their lives. In addition to safety, our study found that technical innovation, infotainment, smartphone mirroring, and telematics were also extremely or very important considerations for subcompact SUV buyers. Soon, you'll hear how Tucson addresses those considerations with some of the most innovative technologies available today. As we expand Tucson's appeal in the crowded SUV market, we're mindful that compact SUV buyers, many of them younger and environmentally aware, increasingly want eco-friendly vehicles. Nearly 40% of customers polled would consider purchasing a subcompact with a hybrid powertrain. 
and over 22% would consider purchasing a plug-in hybrid. So we gave the all-new Tucson both options. That decision to offer hybrid and plug-in hybrid options in addition to an efficient new 2.5 liter SmartStream internal combustion engine is a direct outgrowth of our company vision, progress for humanity. We at Hyundai are here to do the right thing for humanity and to accelerate progress by helping solve some of the most challenging environmental problems. Electrified vehicles like the Tucson Hybrid and Plug-in Hybrid are a critical step in realizing that vision. They not only meet customer needs for greater fuel efficiency, extended range, and cleaner emissions, but they do so without sacrificing features customers want in a subcompact SUV, like our capable H-Track all-wheel drive system. Of course, no one product fits all global markets. In the US, our research found that subcompact SUV customers want a larger vehicle to fit their active lifestyles. So, we developed a long wheelbase version expressly for the US, Canadian, and South Korean markets to make sure the new Tucson hits its mark. With its larger size, the new Tucson features best-in-class rear legroom, addressing the need of one focus group participant who said, I need space for five people in the car, and I think Tucson can accommodate everyone comfortably. Throughout our briefing today, we'll explain how the fourth generation Tucson meets a wide range of buyer's needs. We'll detail how we plan to take Tucson to the next level of success through striking design, eco-friendly powertrains, advanced technology, and safety. You'll hear about all the durability, quality, and reliability that are the foundation for the new Tucson's development. Focus group participants who saw the new Tucson firsthand described its exterior as sporty, modern, sleek, and distinctive. They called its interior stylish, innovative, and advanced. And here to tell the story behind Tucson's exciting new design, I'm pleased to turn the presentation over to Senior Chief Designer of Hyundai Design North America, Chris Chapman. So in design, we decided it was time to wage a battle against boredom in the C SUV segment. We wanted to create something so eye-catching that it could simultaneously catch dreams and really stick an exclamation point on a segment that's become diluted and overcrowded. To do this, we had to change process norms. For the most part, we dropped our classic design tools. We turned in our pencils and paper for goggles and gaming controllers, and we turned the loudness knob in design to 11. We wanted to achieve unmistakable SUV proportions and join rugged to technical like a modern mountain bike wearing scratches and rock chips as badges of honor. Now, some of the best recipes call for the simplest ingredients, but if the flavor gets lost, people will ask for the salt, and by then, you've lost them. The same is true in design. For the 22 Tucson, there is no mixed message. Careful attention was paid to a centerline architecture that supports SUV sure-footedness, a level roof line, wheels at the corners, and a clear two-box SUV profile were secured. These basic architectural ingredients are often taken for granted, but they're 95% of an SUV's identifiable quality. After that, we tuned the lines like guitar strings until we achieved the bodybuilder aesthetic we were after. For Tucson, it's less about long, lean volumes and more about local muscle. There's an abruptness from one area to another without overly smoothing or blending the form. Parametric dynamics describes our new surface philosophy. Its uniqueness comes from a kind of mosaic arrangement of separate diamond-cut elements coming together to form one dramatic statement. Looking at the front, we didn't regard it as a face, at least not in the same sense of having eyes, a nose, and a mouth, but rather as the front of a machine. It doesn't need to see, it needs to illuminate. It doesn't need to smell or breathe the air, it needs to process it. Shifting this dogma created room to treat these elements differently. Like for scuba or outer space, it's designed to deal with the environment it's in. The body-wide graphic integrates the grill, intakes, the DRLs, and turn signals into one strong technical module. DRLs lie in wait under a patented laser-etched mirrored surface. When lit, their unique graphic signature alone identifies the vehicle. At the rear, aggressively chiseled cross-car taillights create an image of precision and power. To minimize visual overhang, which is really important to us, 
we focused on making Tucson's rear three-quarter silhouette line follow right down into the tire. This most viewed angle of the car demonstrates power and trust, gripping the ground like an immovable object. Designers typically exaggerate this idea in sketches to emphasize a gesture of downforce. A gracefully executed DLO garnish follows the roof line, drawing the eye downward again toward the rear spoiler. And with a vanishing rear wiper and under glass mounted badge, a super clean high tech impression is burned into memory. Now the high tech theme continues for the interior, but in a different way. Juxtaposed to the razor edge look of the exterior, the interior takes a softer, seamless approach. This contrast was deliberate to emphasize Tucson's diverse character. We call it hidden tech, smooth and intuitive to the touch. A lowered cluster provides a completely flat upper IP surface with an uninterrupted wide field of view for a heightened sense of driver control. Direct ventilation and ambient airflow are disguised within an elegant wraparound channel that embraces the passenger. Together with neatly organized control zones, the interior provides an inviting and surprisingly upscale offering for the segment. Now, this Tucson represents design's deep commitment to engineering. I want to stress this. The truth is, when you see a nice proportion or a sharp, precise line, it speaks more of engineering prowess underneath before design skill on the surface. We wanted you to sense this collaboration with your eyes and fingertips. We wanted people to wonder, how did they do that? Like a magic trick. Now this is a real turn the amp to 11 overdrive go big design. Like an astronaut, we took Tucson to engineering school and then we took it to the gym. This effort reflects the true collaborative spirit of Hyundai and it's a joy to even be a small part of a global team that truly lives business as unusual. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Jerome Grejoy from the Hyundai America Technical Center. Today, I would like to introduce the great powertrain lineup of the new Hyundai Tucson. Like with any of our development programs, the Tucson powertrain lineup has its unique set of priorities. For Tucson, we wanted to offer a compelling combination of value, efficiency, and performance. Tucson will offer three levels of performance, with a conventional internal combustion engine, a hybrid, and a plug-in hybrid powertrain. All hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains will offer a mechanical edge track all-wheel drive system as a standard feature. Hyundai's proven edge track system is capable of a 50-50 torque split at all times. With the highest horsepower output and all-wheel drive standard on hybrid and plug-in hybrid, Tucson will offer excellent fuel economy without compromise. The base engine is a SmartStream 2.5-liter naturally aspirated gasoline engine. The G4K has an output of 187 horsepower and 178 foot-pound of torque. This improves power and torque, respectively 16 and 19 percent over the previous base Tucson. The key feature of the engine architecture is the dual injection system. At low torque and power demand, the MPI injection system is dominant. At high torque and power demand, the GDI injection system is dominant. With multiple port injection and gasoline direct injection, the 2.5 liter engine improves power output, fuel economy, and emissions. Hyundai has adopted a TMED architecture for its hybrid and plug-in hybrid powertrains. TMED stands for Transmission Mounted Electric Device and is composed of five main elements. The internal combustion engine, the electric motor, placed in between engine and transmission, where the torque converter would traditionally be placed. The transmission itself, which in the Tucson's application is a conventional step gear transmission with planetary gear sets, the high voltage battery, and the hybrid starter generator, also called HSG. Both hybrid and plug-in hybrid use the same 1.6 liter turbocharged internal combustion engine. However, with different nominal system voltage and motors, the hybrid powertrain has a total peak power of 226 horsepower and the plug-in hybrid 261 horsepower. Let's review the primary components function and specifications. First, the engine used for both hybrid and plug-in hybrid is a SmartStream 1.6 turbo GDI engine. The key feature of the engine is the CVVD, which stands for Continuously Variable Valve Duration. The CVVD system can increase or reduce intake valve opening duration independently of the valve timing. This provides an added degree of freedom for the calibration of the engine with positive impact on performance, fuel economy, and emissions. 
the G4F is also equipped with continuously variable valve timing on the intake and exhaust valves. The G4F itself outputs 180 horsepower and 195 foot-pound of torque. And on the hybrid application, the combined output is 226 horsepower and 265 foot-pound of torque. The transmission is a conventional step gear, six-speed automatic transmission with planetary gear sets. This updated generation now allows shift by wire and efficiency was of special attention. For example, the motor integrated engine clutch, which separates the engine and the transmission, has seen its number of clutch discs reduced from five to four and separating springs were implemented to improve fuel economy. Let's talk about the power electronic components. The main function of the battery is to provide electricity to the traction motor or the HSG and also to store energy during regenerative braking. On the plug-in hybrid, the high voltage battery is located under the body for better trunk space marketability. The battery is liquid cooled as 13.8 kilowatt hour of capacity, which will allow an estimated 32 miles of pure electric range. With a 7.2 kilowatt onboard charger, the high voltage battery can be fully recharged in one hour and 40 minutes with a level two charger. Both hybrid and plug-in applications are equipped with a starter generator of 13 kilowatt, which main functions are to start the engine for the first start of a trip and afterwards as the powertrain transitions back and forth between hybrid and pure electric modes. As its name indicates, the traction motor's function is to drive the vehicle in pure electric mode when the engine is stopped and assist the engine while in hybrid mode. Another key function of the traction motor is to generate electricity to be stored in the high voltage battery while the vehicle is coasting or as the driver presses the brake pedal. On the hybrid, the motor output is 60 horsepower and 90 horsepower on the plug-in hybrid. A new function of the electric motor is e-handling. To improve the dynamic performance during cornering maneuvers, the motor cooperates with a traction control system in order to optimize the vehicle pitch. This results in better steering response, better vehicle control, and more fun to drive. The Tucson Hybrid is also equipped with EHRS, which stands for Exhaust Heat Recovery System. The system provides benefits for fuel economy and emissions. EHRS was first applied by Hyundai on the Ionic Hybrid. Finally, the hybrid power control unit combines several functions. A low voltage DC to DC converter that supplies the vehicle with 12 volt, an inverter that controls the motor, and the hybrid control unit that coordinates the internal combustion engine, electric motor, and automatic transmission. On the hybrid version, the high voltage battery assembly includes a 12 volt supply and eliminates the need for a lead acid 12 volt battery. The high voltage battery with a capacity of 1.49 kilowatt hour is located inside the cabin under the rear passenger seats. To conclude, the new Tucson covers the market with a unique combination of value, efficiency, and performance with up to 46% fuel economy improvement between the all-wheel drive hybrid and the all-wheel drive internal combustion base engine. With 226 horsepower, mechanical all-wheel drive, and up to 38 miles per gallon combined, the Tucson Hybrid offers no compromise between performance and fuel economy. Thank you for your attention. Hi, I'm Manish Marotra. The group I lead has one goal, to revolutionize and simplify the daily lives of our customers using the latest connected technologies. We want to enhance the owner's experience by constantly improving their comfort and convenience, both inside and outside our vehicles. And I'm proud to tell you that the new Tucson offers more connectivity and more customization to do that than ever before. Let me show you what I mean. The first thing you notice when you sit behind the wheels of the new Tucson is its spectacular dual 10 and a quarter inch displays. These displays are so crystal clear, so bright, that we don't need a hood to manage glare. The touchscreen panels are a perfect complement to the welcoming cockpit and the high-tech interior. Along with looking good, these screens have outstanding connectivity features to give customers more freedom of choice and infotainment options than ever before. Features include a great cloud-based navigation system, wireless Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay, an improved Blue Link connected car app, which I'll come back to, and an eight-speaker Bose premium sound system, a Tucson first, 
with powerful Super 65 wide range speakers in the front doors and a woofer mounted in the rear quarter panel. The sound system includes an enhanced natural language voice recognition interface that uses speech to meaning and deep meaning understanding technologies powered by Houndify. It delivers unprecedented speed and accuracy in voice recognition and responses and even has the ability to remember context like your location to support natural interactions. All the connectivity and customization we've added inside the new Tucson extends outside the vehicle as well with available features like our Hyundai digital key and remote smart park assist. The near field communication technology at the heart of Hyundai's digital key allows users to lock, unlock, start and drive their new Tucson all without a physical key. Just this. Digital key also allows owners to securely share virtual keys with friends and family. Let me tell you how I would use this wonderful feature. My young son, who isn't old enough to drive, thank goodness, often leaves his dirty soccer equipment in the back of my car. He's a good boy and knows to get his equipment sorted out before the next practice, but his timing is awkward. Usually, especially these days when I'm working from home, he walks into my office, interrupts my work or Zoom meeting to get my car keys. Not cool. But if I have digital key, I can easily give him access to the Bluetooth functions of the car only, meaning he can open the doors and get his equipment out, but not drive it. It's the perfect solution. Now, if it could only remind him to clean the car when he's through. Another convenience we've added to Tucson's key fob is remote smart park assist. If you can get out of a jam in a tight parking space or help you fit into that last available spot in a crowded parking lot, all from outside the car. Smart park is dingless, scratchless technology that you can't put a price on. And later this year, we will add smart park to the digital key app right on your smartphone with practical, relevant connectivity features like these simplifying our lives, it's important that we keep our phones topped up and ready to go. That's why we increased the capacity of Tucson's wireless phone charger from five to 15 watts. Faster charging is a huge plus with the new generation of car buyers who are constantly on their smartphones. Another technology we are proud to offer with the new Tucson is our latest version of Blue Link. Blue Link first launched on the 2011 Sonata and we have been adding it to vehicles ever since. Blue Link's most popular feature is remote start. This past January, our customers used Blue Link to remote start their cars over 4 million times in a single month. Remote start was the only Blue Link mobile feature when it first rolled out, but we have been adding features ever since. And with the latest Tucson, we are introducing several exciting new features to enhance customers' ownership experience. In 2015, we added remote climate control to Blue Link, so customers can cool off or warm their car from the comfort of their living room. And starting with the all-new Tucson, we are expanding climate controls to include the vehicle's heated and ventilated seats, as well as the available heated rear seats. We also enhanced Blue Link's vehicle status reports to indicate the open or closed position of Tucson's windows and sunroof, as well as its fuel level. With the new Tucson, we're also expanding Blue Link's remote profile management feature. Now, when you use Blue Link to start your car, it can automatically load your personalized profile. You can hop in your toasty, warm, or comfortably cool Tucson, and your navigation and radio preferences are set up and ready to go. To give tech-minded customers even more connectivity, we have expanded Blue Link beyond the smartphone with Tucson. The app is now enabled to work with Android and Apple smartwatches. Tech-savvy customers with smart devices in their homes will be happy to know they can now use Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant to connect to their vehicles. So from inside the home, you can say, OK, Google, tell Blue Link to start my Tucson and set the temperature to 72 degrees. Or Alexa, ask Blue Link to lock my Tucson. Super convenient, right? Last but not least among the Blue Link enhancements we are launching with Tucson is a practical new feature called Driving Score. 
Driving Score works in conjunction with usage-based car insurance programs that offer potential discounts to help drivers save money on their auto policy. Driving Score is like a coach. It uses the Blue Link connected car system to gather data that can help drivers understand and modify their driving habits. To maximize use of the feature, owners simply need to create a My Hyundai account on the web and enroll their car in Blue Link. The report gives owners tips to help improve their overall driving score and potentially save on their insurance premiums. And who doesn't want to save money on their insurance premium? Driving score and all the advanced technologies we are introducing on the new Tucson deliver on Hyundai's commitment to simplify and improve people's lives. As I said earlier, our goal is to democratize technology, enhance safety, and give customers relevant, easier to use features that are typically available only on much more expensive luxury cars. The many improvements we've made to Tucson's technology packages have taken a huge investment of time and resources, and we are very proud of what we've been able to accomplish. With three years of industry-leading Blue Link, driving score, digital key, Bose premium sound, enhanced voice recognition, and amazing new widescreen displays that keep owners informed and entertained, we are confident that the all-new Tucson doesn't just check the boxes, it blows the competition away. We look forward to a successful product launch, and we can't wait for you to try our great new features for yourselves. Thank you. Greetings and welcome to our final segment. I'm Trevor Lai, Product Planning Manager for most of the SUV programs here at Hyundai. Today, I'll take you through some of the finer points of our all-new Tucson. And let's start with the third generation platform that's the foundation for everything that we've done. Its modular architecture offers huge advantages in safety, fuel efficiency, handling, design, and more. Our engineers crafted the new platform to create a lightweight but strong body structure. And compared to the volume leader in this segment, Tucson's new platform is larger and more rigid, with more hot stamp parts. Yet it is lightweight enough to achieve peak fuel efficiency. Now, one of the chief advantages of the platform redesign is enhanced safety. Engineers optimize the structure not just to do well in crash tests, but for the unpredictable demands of real-world driving situations. From the very beginning of the new Tucson's development, Hyundai targeted and expects to achieve the highest safety rating in the industry, the IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Now to get there, we applied more skeleton structures within Tucson's body to dissipate and divert energy. This load distribution structure is a great example of Hyundai's thorough commitment to keep drivers and occupants safe in the event of a collision. But Tucson's modular architecture doesn't just promote safety, it lends itself to a more engaging driving experience. We secured fun-to-drive dynamics by enhancing responsiveness and stability throughout the suspension system. We reduced understeer by raising the front roll center and optimizing suspension arm lengths. The steering rack now requires less input behind the wheel. And we mounted the front struts so they are aligned with the force of road impacts. And in the rear, engineers did even more work to improve handling and stability. They boosted bump and roll steer performance by upgrading and optimizing dampers. And the result is more confident handling under different road conditions. And speaking of road conditions, Tucson's H-Track all-wheel drive system further optimizes driving performance by actively distributing the driving force to the front and the rear axles based on the driving conditions through a dynamic all-wheel drive center coupling. By shuffling power continuously between the front and rear axles up to a 50-50 split, we achieve torque vectoring laterally via brake differential actuation. And the result is a supremely sure-footed ride on various road surfaces. In truly inclement weather, or when road conditions demand, the driver can select the differential lock button to ensure a constant 50-50 torque split. It's like getting all the traction of a manual diff lock in a 4x4 without all the chattering and difficult steering. Now, we have two more important points about this great third generation platform. Earlier, you heard about Tucson's three new powertrains. The modular platform is not only perfect for them, but also compatible with future powertrains. And finally, the new platform gives us the ability to be way more creative with our design. Chris already talked about that with Tucson's bold new exterior. And thanks to its larger platform, there's also more room inside Tucson for people and their things. What well, best-in-class rear legroom? 
Now, as an SUV, Utility is Tucson's middle name. By taking advantage of the new platform, our interior packaging engineers carved out an additional 25% more cargo volume than ever before. And with seats configured with maximum cargo carrying capacity, we net up to 41.2 cubic feet, more than the largest subcompact in the class. An experience inside the new Tucson is better than ever, and not just because of all the advanced technology that Manish covered. Hyundai took significant measures to minimize sound intrusion going into the Tucson's cabin. Now, one of these main sources of noise is from the engine. To counter that, our NVH engineers applied a variable thickness sound isolation pad to the firewall and added an intermediate sandwich of insulation between firewall panels. Now, in combination with improved engine mount design, noise from under the hood is less than ever before. The other main source of noise intrusion are from the road and wind. Our NVH engineers took significant strides with advanced sound attenuating materials, applying them at key areas such as the inner quarter panel, the luggage side trim, and the wheel liners. Speaking of threes, they also triple layered the windshield, adding an acoustic film layer to reduce noise, especially at fast highway speeds. And they paid more attention to the exterior mirrors, minimizing gaps and maximizing seal coverage. All for the peace and quiet every Tucson owner deserves. And as you know, Hyundai has a deep commitment to safety for all. You've heard about the role the vehicle structure and our standard Hyundai SmartSense features play. On top of all those features, Tucson offers available SmartSense features such as blind spot collision avoidance assist, which can actively intervene if a driver attempts to merge into an occupied blind spot. Another safety feature that can actively intervene is our available rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist. If a driver attempts to pull out into active cross traffic, the Tucson will stop. Now we also offer Hyundai's Highway Driving Assist feature to help reduce fatigue on long trips. When using Smart Cruise Control or Lane Following Assist, this system automatically helps drivers stay centered in their lane and traveling at a safe distance from the car ahead. It also helps drivers maintain the speed limit based on GPS and highway data. Our available blind spot view monitor automatically comes on with a turn signal showing a live video feed of what's going on in the driver's blind spot. And our popular surround view monitor continues into the new Tucson, showing a panoramic 360 degree view. That one still knocks me out. Now, while many competitors have advanced safety technology, only Hyundai goes above and beyond to offer features that our segment competitors just don't. Other features on the new Tucson clearly separate it from the competition as well, like the impressive full flush center console panel, clear and bright with advanced touch control technology, or our new ambient interior lighting inspired by our Genesis luxury division to create a more upscale interior atmosphere. Tucson's main vents add even more to the atmosphere with a new multi-air mode that's draft free for a comfortable ride. And the last feature I'll touch on is our popular auto open power tailgate. Now already available on our outgoing Tucson, our tailgate automatically opens when approaching from the rear. No acrobatic one foot swipes required holding groceries. No twisted ankles trying to trigger the sensor. Just a simple, elegant piece of technology that makes a Tucson ownership experience that much better. Now, let's talk about Tucson's packaging architecture. By now, you've probably heard of the N-Line variant. This sport appearance model is based on our two and a half liter gas engine version and is available with both front wheel drive and H-Track all wheel drive. The build features N-Line exterior accents, 19 inch black wheels, an exhaust finisher, and rear spoiler. Inside, you'll find inline red interior accents, sport pedals, and headliner. We capped it off with inline emblems throughout the vehicle. Well, so where does the inline slot in with the other packages? Now, as you can see here, the gas version is available in six different builds, and the inline is right in the middle, so it's accessible to many shoppers. On the eco friendly side of the equation, the hybrid starts out with the blue trim, and it shares the same content as the SEL gas vehicle. Now, one step up is going to be our SEL convenience package and similar to the gas convenience package contents there as well. Lastly, we have the limited trim at the top of the line. We offer two plug-in hybrid builds, the SEL entry version and our fully loaded limited. Well, what else is in each of these builds, right? Lots of content for sure, but I'll just give you the highlights. We'll start with SE. This trim includes forward collision avoidance assist, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and LED headlamps. The SEL or blue trims include blind spot collision avoidance assistance, our proximity key system, and smart cruise control. The SEL convenience build adds our large 10 and a quarter inch cluster, Hyundai digital key, and 19 inch alloy wheels. 
Premium, as the name suggests, offers upscale features like leather, Bose Premium Sound, and ventilated front seats. Right at the top stands the Limited, with its 10 and a quarter inch navigation screen, remote smart park assist, and the heated steering wheel and rear seats. Now today we've covered a lot of ground, a lot because there's a lot more Tucson. We've right-sized now for the North American market and given it a bold, evocative design that sets it apart from an otherwise boring segment. We equipped it with advanced technology that everyone can use every day, gave it electrified powertrains that everyone can use every day, and Hyundai Smart Sense safety technology that can keep everyone out of harm's way every day. The all-new Hyundai Tucson for 2022. Progress for humanity.